fine tune the sales process to match your buyer's process and you will have exponential impacts on the revenue you generate. Hey everybody, this is Ray Stendhal, publisher of Customer Engagement Magazine and the author of the Customer Engagement Manifesto and a variety of special reports. Thanks so much for watching this video in our training sequence all about how you go about acquiring and retaining customers in a profitable manner. So in this video, what we're going to talk about is sales conversion. So you've gone through the process, you have acquired a marketing lead, somebody who knows what you do, is confident that you have the ability to, to solve their problem and is now entering into the sales dance with you. Now the problem here is they're entering into the dance but the problem is is that they're not finishing the dance with you in into a sales conversion or a confirmation of, of the sales process that you want to move forward and sealing the deal so to speak. So let's take things back to basics. Sales conversion is a result of a highly organized sales process. It begins with a well qualified marketing lead which we've been talking about so far it ends with a transaction which confirms that the customer is happy with what it is that you do and wants to move forward so the first thing I said in this last uh, 30 seconds or so is that it's a well organized sales process in order to be well organized it should be documented in order to document it you need to think about all the steps you go through to work with somebody who has an idea of what you do in terms of their being qualified through the process where they ultimately are willing to give you their money in exchange for the value you're going to provide so that being said I want you to stop thinking about selling from a traditional standpoint I want you to think in terms of buying, putting your shoot yourself in the shoes of your prospect, of your customer and analyzing the buying process. What is the buying process that somebody needs to go through to feel comfortable to make a purchase? Once you painfully, I say the word painfully, it's not really painfully, I mean in detail. When you, once you go through this process in detail and identify every step that the buyer must go through, I want you to then map it to what is the corresponding sales process to map to that buying process. Now if this sounds like a whole lot of process, blah 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 to you, you're getting the wrong impression. You have to realize the buying process and the selling process need to come together. If the customer buys this way and you sell this way, there's no merger. So the goal here is to say, this is what my customer needs to move comfort, to feel comfortable, go to the next step. And this is what I need to provide. And you have to provide it in the way in which the customer wants to consume it. So now, as you go through the sales process, it's important that you track the results of your sales process. If X number of leads entered your funnel and Y number, Y being less than X, go to step two, and Z being less than Y go to step three. If you understand the relationship and the ratio between each of these steps, sooner or later you're going to come to the understanding that some parts of your process you're better at and some parts of your process you're not as good at. And that's precisely where you need to focus. Many companies don't take the time to really analyze their ratios and then they don't know where to go ahead and improve themselves. So when we think about conversion, you also have to think about asking for the deal. Now you can only ask for the deal if you are very sure that you've earned the right to ask. Does the customer implicitly trust you? Do they trust your product or solution? Do they trust your company? Do they consider you to be highly intelligent and very sharp? Do they view you to have integrity and trust? If you can't answer yes to all of those questions, now is not the right time to ask for the deal. So you got to keep circling back, making sure that all of these points that I just mentioned are in alignment.
They trust you. They trust your solution. They trust your company. They view you as a person of an integrity, somebody who is trustworthy, somebody who is sharp, and I would also add energetic and willing to go the extra mile to make sure value is transferred from them, from you to them. Once you get to that point, the next thing you need to do is have the confidence to ask for the deal. Now, a lot of people in this industry write books and books and books on the subject of closing the deal, which by the way, I hate that expression. I prefer the expression confirming the deal or gaining a sales confirmation, which is one of the things that my friend Jim Cathcart so eloquently talks about in his book about relationship selling. Anyhow, it's as simple as simply saying, would you like me to help you implement this? Or why don't you give us a try? A simple question that prompts the user, or in this case, the audience member or the customer or the prospect to go to the next step with you. It's nothing manipulative. It's simply the natural progression of a well-architected sales and marketing process where the customer feels confident that you have the ability to solve their, their problem with your solution. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to stand up and look in the mirror and just say that expression. Would you like me to help you implement it? Would you like to, why don't you give it a try? Simple expressions like that. It doesn't need to be more complex than that. But make sure you only ask those questions when you have the confidence that you earned the right to ask those questions, where it is the next logical progression of your process. So that's it guys. Why don't you take down these notes. See so here, I'm asking you a question. It's a call to action. I'm selling you on the idea of taking action. Every job, every video has a job to do, as I've often said. Take action based on what we've talked about here. Study the report, implement it today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you need any help, just let us know. We'll be happy to help you out. Thank you. This is Ray Stendhal.